Glad you're with us on this soggy start to your Monday. I'm, I'm Eric Connert. And I'm Nettie Irampour. We want everyone to be safe today. Yeah. This morning, we have team coverage for you on this high, heavy rainfall, strong winds, and high surf hitting San Diego. CBS 8's Dana Marie McNichol live in Pacific Beach, where a massive tree has come down. CBS 8's Chris Grow live in Mission Valley, giving us a live look at a water rescue. But first, we do want to show you right now where the rain is. So bear with us here as you take a look at your satellite imagery. I'm going to get right to some of these spots where it's pretty heavy. You see a line of pretty strong rain that came right through Chula Vista National City. It's easing up a little bit, but I will say in Medina and Canto, La Presa, it is pretty strong for you. Uh, also Coronado, it's moving towards downtown. Uh, looks like Point Loma Sunset Cliffs are getting a little bit of a breather there. And same with the coast along North County at least a slight break. We do have strong winds, so that's a big part of the problem with all this saturation on the roads. The winds are not helping out and a flood advisory for all of San Diego County, including a flood warning right through the heart of town. So yeah, we've had these back to back storms hitting San Diego this morning. There's that flood advisory uh, and the flood warnings downtown Netta was just talking about. So San Diego also under a high surf warning as well. So there's a lot going on out there. CBS 8's Dana Marie McNichol joining us live in Pacific Beach and that's where crews are on the scene. Dana Marie, wow, that tree is huge. Mm. What has this caused? Well, Eric and Etta, let me tell you, the wind, the rain has caused this massive 70 foot, 80 foot tree to come down on three different cars. Now, it does appear uh, to be the backside of a townhome or an apartment complex completely uprooted. Now, we're on Ingram and Fortuna Street here in Pacific Beach. Uh, there are multiple down power lines, so the tree completely fell on the main power line, supplying that uh, power to the neighborhood. So it does seem that around 2,000 people were getting word do not have power this morning. Now, uh, it does appear that the cars underneath the tree don't have any substantial damage. It does seem as the tree was caught by those power lines. But of course, with active uh, power lines around us, it is quite dangerous if you were to touch anything or drive over anything. So that's a really great reminder that if you see any fallen debris, a tree down, that there could be some active power lines laying across the road that you need to be aware for. That's something that we encountered coming here today. Now, in terms of water on the road, it is so wet out there. We've had consistent rain all morning long, so a lot of pooling on the freeway. So as, as the hours are still dark, the sun hasn't risen yet. Definitely take extra time to get to where you're needing this morning. If you don't have to be on the roads, please don't do it. In terms of this cleanup here in Pacific Beach, we do see um, SDG&E here as well as um, multiple police officers uh, monitoring the scene. I'm sure they're hoping to get people uh, their power back as soon as possible. The rain has subsided for just a bit, but it is still windy out here. I'm sure it's just a quick little break because we've really been seeing those high winds and rain all morning long in Pacific Beach. We're going to be your eyes and ears, so stick with us. I'm Dana Marie McNichol. All right, Dana Marie, thank you for that. You saw that tree uh, down in her live shot. Here's another one. As we take a look at uh, what part of town is this, if our producer could tell us. Um, this is Mission Valley, I apologize. So yeah, this is now the eighth atmospheric river to hit California. And of course, with all of this heavy rain, a little wind does cause damage like this. So yeah, it's impacting various parts of our county right now. Also been very treacherous out on the roads. You are not advised to get out there and drive. CBS H Chris Grow live in Mission Valley with an example of how dangerous the flooding can be out there when it comes to the roadways. And I want to give an example of how quickly the water can rise, Eric and Netta. In fact, you can see right here at this cross sign right here, uh, the street signal. You can see the button right there, right? Let's say it's about four to five feet up in the air. Now I want to go across Hazard Center Drive to the other side of Mission Center, and you can see that same button on the opposite pole. That's where the water level is. So again, that gives you an idea of how quickly the water can rise. In fact, we were right here at the edge of the crosswalk, and now that crosswalk is completely covered in water, which means that, that water has now risen or at least kind of expanded here at least about seven to eight feet. So about about the size of a sheet of plywood, if you will, uh, since we last checked in with you about 30 minutes ago. But that's just to give you an idea again of how dangerous these floodwaters can be, especially when you consider the fact that two cars tried to drive through these floodwaters. Both of them got stuck. 
Thankfully, the drivers are okay. They were able to get out. It wasn't that deep for them at the time, so they were able to walk out of their vehicles. But now San Diego Police Department, they've got officers in this area trying to get people to turn around, to turn away. But even just before we went live on at 530, somebody tried to turn down Mission Center Drive, but thankfully didn't go through the floodwaters, but drove through that police barricade, that stop sign, uh, that, that road close sign. So again, it's another reminder. Listen to first responders but also listen to your gut instinct and what we've been telling you about any kind of standing water. It doesn't take very much for you to lose control of your vehicle to hydroplane, but then if you start driving through that three to four feet of floodwaters, you could easily get that into your engine block and just like these two cars right here, get stalled out. And of course, that's gonna cost a pretty penny. So. We do want to let you know that this section of Mission Center Drive has been closed. If you live, work in this area, you're going to have to find a way around it. Probably going to have to wait for these waters to recede before you actually are able to get to your destination if you're unable to make any type of a detour. San Diego River, we know, floods often when we get this type of rain activity. And as we know, we've been getting a lot of rain right now. So again, if you are in the Mission Valley area, please drive carefully. Nobody wants to see what happened just a short time ago happened to you. Eric Canetta. Well, as another atmosphere river rushes in here, California facing potentially billions of dollars in damages in LA, a massive oak tree fell completely smashing cars. Floodwaters still cover some of the communities there, and there have been hundreds of swift water rescues statewide, including this one Saturday in Orange County. Residents left cleaning up this mess say they feel defeated. My backs are hurting, my feet are killing me in these rain boots. It's just, it's disgusting, you know. The mud is so unbearable. In Ventura County, swollen bodies of water completely washed out stretches of roads, while in the mountains, another blanket of snow. As of this morning, there have been at least 19 storm related deaths in our state. And now take a look at this a sinkhole shutting down a highway. This in Northern California in San Mateo County. This is on State Route 92. It is massive, the size of over one lane there. It opened up on Friday, shutting down both directions up State Route 94. Caltrans keeping that area closed. Repairs will start when the ground starts to dry out. So, of course, that's been a long time coming. Further south in Los Angeles, two sinkholes opened up in the Chatsworth neighborhood. Two cars fell into those sinkholes. Luckily, luckily rather, nobody was injured in them. With the holiday here, there will be several closures today to tell you about all county offices, family resource centers, libraries, and animal shelters will be closed today. Bus routes, including rural routes 891 and 892, will not be running. Also, parking meters in the city of San Diego will not be enforced today. Today is just a good day to stay inside, stay safe, and uh, avoid hitting the roads because uh, flooding is happening right now as we speak. Yeah, we're definitely noticing a lot of flooding on our freeways. Mission Valley, as Chris showed us, I mean, that Hazard Center dr drive right there was covered in water. People are getting stuck in these conditions. So what we've seen happening to the north now here in San Diego because of the nature of this system. So a lot of these storms have fizzled out before they reached San Diego. This one, you can kind of see it right here. You see this line of clouds of the ocean. Well, that's this atmospheric river where you have literally a river of moisture in the higher levels, and that's what's dumping on us right now. That's what a lot of you heard overnight with the heavy round after round coming through, along with the strong winds. We're getting really strong gusts with this. So when the ground is so saturated from these two storms in 48 hours, we're going to see things like tree branches and trees coming down, unfortunately, and the flooding that we are seeing right now. So I want to show you at least where you're getting a break right there. Oceanside, Del Mar, and even into Escondido. Finally, just take a moment to see what's going on outside while it is safe to do so. And then further south, though, for the South Bay and into East County, it's still coming in. Not as heavy as what we saw just about 30 minutes ago, but the darker green showing a little bit of an increase in the rainfall rates. I'm glad to see no areas of yellows and oranges at this moment. But those are going to pop up. We're going to continue with these stronger cells coming on in. So here's a look at your current wind. 
winds. So the areas of blue, that's a, light, a little bit lighter. The yellow, 20 possibly mile per hour winds coming through. So overall, it's settling down a bit. We saw the stronger winds in the overnight hours and uh, just about an hour ago is a little bit stronger. So I hope that's a sign of kind of a calmer day today, but flood advisory certainly something to take into account until seven this morning. We're going to continue to be under this advisory. We'll see if the weather service decides to extend that depending on the amount of uh, flooding that we're seeing out there. This flood warning we're talking about through the heart of downtown from Mission Beach all the way through Santee through the heart of San Diego. Look at this long stretch that's now currently under this warning and that's all the way until tomorrow at 1 a.m. Then we have wind advisories uh, until seven this morning. So the wind is going to calm down by this afternoon and look at the nature of this system here throughout the day. Really scattered but also heavy. So scattered heavy cells. That's what we'll be dealing with throughout the day. By the afternoon it should settle down for us a little bit but then it picks up again in the overnight hour. So according to, to this forecast model we're in for it even in early tomorrow morning 5 6 a.m. The amount of rain that could still squeeze out of this we already saw some incredible totals and we're going to see another inch inch and a half coming through Palomar Mountain has received nine inches of rain in just 48 hours. You're about to get another inch there through North County. Some reports four inches of rain already, so we're still seeing more. I'll talk more about what's ahead uh, traffic. I know we are seeing some problems on the road, so if there's a time here, I can get into some of these, but not all of them, of course, because it's just so busy. But here's a look right now in Del Mar. This is a crash that popped up about 30 minutes ago. The number one lane is blocked on the five northbound. That's right at Del Mar Heights Road. I don't see slowing in and around the five right now up due to that crash on the 163. They were quick to clear that thankfully on Genesee and same with this one. The crews are out there. They know this kind of stuff happens when we get wet weather like this. So they're working really hard to clear up any of these stalled cars and crashes so that people don't run into more trouble. Eric.